It's a high mountain valley and the bugling call of an elk at first morning light. It's the soul chilling howl of a wolf on the prowl or the hoot of an owl in the night. And it's the wail of the coyote, the bark of the fox, the honking of geese flying by, or the whistling call of an eagle that's circling and watching it all from the sky. It's the scream of a cougar from a canyon nearby. It's the bleat of the wild bighorn ram. Or maybe the screech of the red-tailed hawk where he sees all that moves on the land. It's the hair-raising call of a Sasquatch that silences all other sounds where even the terrible grizzly retreats when he hears him coming round. It's the noise of a jay the moon of a bear, the chatter of squirrels in the trees. It's the splash of a big rainbow trout on a small, quiet lake that man loves to see. It's the stream that chuckles and gurgles its way down the hills toward the valley below. Or the long, lonesome sigh of the wind in the pines that touches the core of your soul. To many, they're simply the sounds of the land and the animal kingdom it hosts. To make something more of it all than it is, well, that would be largely avoided by most. But to some, it's much more than what reaches your ear that beckons them over the miles. It's an ancient and mystical call only they hear. And it's known as the call of the wild. <laughs>